our position is not dependent on annamalai's position we we it hardly matters and karnataka is uh, well on the way to obtain the necessary sanctions to build the dam and it is going to build the dam i think it will have to explore this water for the drinking water purposes of bangalore and it has decided to do so Namaste everyone welcome to Chitti Media my name is Sharan Sethi in the last one week alone we've seen a lot of political developments happening in Karnataka after Uttarakhand the BJP did everything to shift political power with former chief minister B.S. Yadurappa stepping down to discuss that and a lot of other developments from the state of Karnataka with us today we have Sri Vivek Reddy ji uh, namaste vivek ji thank you so much for joining namaste us. sir uh, vivek ji is bjp's spokesperson and he'll be discussing a lot of issues with us today vivek ji the first thing i want to ask you is uh, we are living through a pandemic how are you sir how's your family oh doing good god's a blessing and we have uh, gone through the pandemic thank you sharan right uh, that's good to hear sir so with your permission if i may proceed on to my first question yes sir uh, recently india celebrated its 75th year of indian independence and chief minister basavraj bombay actually made a lot of new announcements especially his plans for development in the regions of kalyana karnataka and a lot of other schemes he has announced which seem to be very promising could you share us uh, share some of the views with us as to what these scheme, schemes exactly talk about and which communities they intend to help well i think the most important aspect of uh, uh basaraj uh, the chief minister schemes target the poor it is for the houseless the persons who have been left out without toilets the anganwadi and um, the various other sections of the poor in about 750 gram panchayats the whole concept is to really reform the gram panchayats the gram panchayat areas provide clean roads provide clean water provide tap water to ensure that these gram panchayats which are selected karnataka has about 5000 to 6000 gram panchayats to ensure that at least the 750 targeted gram panchayats do not have any houseless person do not have any person without toilets i think this is more in line with uh, mr shri narendra modi's uh, scheme or um, object of providing india providing aspirational india a great um, uh the, the basic infrastructure for its people i think that's where the basaraj bomai shri basaraj bomai has targeted and defined the area of target being the most poor people the most poor sections of society i think what it is what is indicative of this effort is that there is a great uh, focus of uh, the resources of karnataka to the poor which was uh, very much essential which was very important and it is crucial to alleviate poverty i think this way the schemes of basaraj bomai all in the amrit anniversary the 75th year of indian independence mm-hmm. are focused on the poor and which is really a welcome scheme i think the leadership of bjp has ensured the karnataka bjp has ensured under mr bomai that they follow the footsteps of modi and reach these grand and important infrastructure to the poor people of karnataka right so you bring up one very interesting point you speak about how resources has to reach the nook and corner of karnataka but when it comes to the mekedatu issue especially the water sharing issue that's come come up between uh, you know tamil nadu and karnataka the bjp itself is in loggerheads uh, between the state party units uh, the chief minister recently it out at the tamil nadu unit president uh, former ips uh, officer k anamalai so what are your comments on this how does the bjp intend to solve this equation uh, this particular problem well, i think uh, it is very difficult to blame the bjp firms ultimately the sentiments of the land have to be respected i do not blame anamalai for uh, his taking up this uh, uh, this campaign but the point is 
that Karnataka, we here in Karnataka are not willing to compromise. Whether Annavalai sits in a dharani or he does not sit in a dharani, the stakes for Karnataka are the same. Karnataka is well protected by, uh, uh, with its interests by the Chief Minister Basarag Bhumai. If you look at all the Chief Ministers since, the, uh, since history, you find that it was Basaraj Bhumai alone who stood out and said that we will not be compromising on the issue of water to Tamil Nadu and that we will be undertaking the project. I think nobody has taken such a bold stand ever in the history of uh, the various chief ministers of Karnataka. So therefore, it, mm -hmm. our position is not dependent on Annamalai's position. We, we, it hardly matters. And Karnataka is uh, well on the way to obtain the necessary sanctions to build the dam and it is going to build the dam. I think it will have to explore this water for the drinking water purposes of Bangalore and it has decided to do so. Right. It's very interesting, sir. There's another development that's happened under Chief Minister Bomai. He recently banned, uh, you know, police saluting at important government functions. And he also banned the use of flowers um, given to ministers and MLAs and other political leaders. And this is uh, a very important measure, right? Uh, because he said that we also have to promote uh, the culture of Canada, the literature of uh, Canada literature as well. Uh, the, how did this decision come about? And uh, could you please comment on this? Well, I think these were things which are running in the chief minister's mind since a long time. It is not a sudden idea. And uh, he was in a position to implement it. He came into a position to implement it. Right. The, uh, it was really necessary during COVID times to economize to prevent um, over expenditure on all these uh, methods of celebration or modes of celebration. Therefore, even the cutting down of the use of flowers was very important because it was unnecessary expenditure for the government one. And they were all symbolic. They did not really carry anything. Therefore, I think he is more prone to the younger generation, the younger uh, India, which uh, does not stand on symbolism but which really wants to go out there and do something deeper, accomplish something meaningful. I think that is where Mr. Bama, Mr. Basaraj Bamai has really the lead and um, is really reformatory in his thought. Right. Thank you for that, sir. There's another very positive development that's coming out is that uh, a lot of people are actually praising Bangalore's vaccination success story. How did Bengaluru actually manage to vaccinate above the national average. Could you please share us, uh, share with us some insights about this? I think much of the um, acclamation goes to the Department of uh, Medical Education and Health, led by Dr. Sudhakar, in making vaccines available in huge numbers. Unless vaccines, vaccines were made available, it would not have reached the last man. The second is the twin uh, efforts of both the BBMP and the health department in reaching out to people with vaccines. It might be amazing to think that Mr. Gopalaya was today commenting in one of our meetings that in his area assembly, each ward has five centers for vaccination, which is really very good. And they say that in, if this continues in the next 15 days, they hope to vaccinate all people in the ward. And therefore, this accelerated attempt, this aggressive attempt at vaccination is uh, kudos to the... Uh, persons who are uh, undertaking this vaccination drive, the Minister Sudhakar and the BBMP and the government, which has uh, revamped its efforts and um, is going at a real fast pace, which is all the national average. Vivekji, but I have, I have to break it down to you. If there is one area where the BJP is being severely criticized by the media and the opposition as well, it is about how they handle the second wave of COVID. And this doesn't just apply or restrict itself to the state BJP or the national BJP, but the overall strategy for handling the second wave was a failure is what the opposition says. So having said that, there are already reports and a few medical advisors have told that there will be severe shortages of bed for the next wave as well. What is the state government doing to prevent that? What are the preventive measures that are being taken right now? Well, I think the sheer scale of the second wave was such that we had to match the resources and we tried to do the best of it within the time frame given. There was a shortage of oxygen, remdesivir, 
and this shortage was not just in india it was in all of the countries and across all states this was uh, met with uh, immediate urgency and the government came out with all efforts to ensure there was stocks of oxygen there was stocks of remdesivir and they were all covered within time and in the future i think the government is geared up for the third wave it is really working on the various strategies in order to face the third wave uh, it is not leaving any stone unturned right it is really working hard it has uh, the central government has issued various advisories for uh, targeting the countering the third wave i think uh, we are really uh, working hard and uh, uh, the strategies are good and we will effectively counter the third wave the vaccination drive itself is a uh, important measure a critical measure in countering the third wave and i think we will be done with the vaccination before the third wave arrives so right. that's a very good measure sharan chetty that uh, uh, we are really uh, ramping up the vaccination drives in the state of karnataka right vivek ji says that he is very confident that the third wave will be handled very well and on different fronts that the karnataka government is positively um, working towards it, whether it's the make that issue or development of different um, areas in karnataka vivek ji thank you so much for joining us i'm really glad you could join us for this conversation today and we really hope to invite you further for our shows as well namaskara sir thank you sharan chetty thank you thank you thank you sir and to all our viewers thank who are you, watching this please do subscribe to our content we are present across every other social media platform this is your host sharan chetty signing off please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel for our other social media links more content and to support our work please visit cittti.net dhanyawad namaskar